Okay, we're going to show you how to make a, a, a climograph here with using uh, Google Sheets. Pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, I've got a set of data, in this case, uh, temperature and precipitation for Toronto uh, for one year of data. And I'm going to uh, select my data first, so both the uh, month, the temperature, and the, the precipitation, and then choose my graph from here. So it's going to try to choose the graph that I want. Uh, from the recommended charts, I'm going to actually choose more, and I'm going to choose line, and I'm going to choose this combo chart right here. And so when I do that, you can see that it actually does put both on there, makes one line graph and one a bar graph. Uh, and now I'm going to go to my customized menu so that I can put the scales on either side, the vertical scales on either side. So I might as well put a chart title in here. This is the uh, Toronto Canada for my title, why not? And I'm going to move down to, uh, well, I might as well put a horizontal axis title here while I'm here. So this is the month. That's fairly obvious. Um, and let's change the angle a bit so that the months fit a little bit nicer in there. And when I get down to the series, so you'll see here's the mean temperature uh, in Fahrenheit, and it's on the left axis. If I change that to mean precipitation, I can actually choose that so that it shows up on the right axis. It's color-coded. One is a bar graph, one is a line graph. And so that's as easy as it is to make the dual-scale axes. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, adjustment on my axes. I'm going to change my vertical axis. Uh, I like my axes to start at zero. Uh, might as well give it a title. Uh, uh, so here's the title for the uh, left vertical axis, and I'm going to make the minimum start at zero, and the maximum uh, go to 80. And now I can change the right vertical axis, and there's the title. This is the precipitation in inches, and I'm going to make that start at zero. And go to four, we'll say. And that is my, I got titles, I got axis labels, I've got my graph. I can now uh, choose insert. And I've got my data and my graph uh, on a dual scale axis. So hopefully that'll work for you.